Welcome back, everyone. Today, we're going to be shedding light on the dangers appertaining to contracting heart disease. So, what are some of the ample dangers appertaining to contracting heart disease? Without further ado, without further delay, allow me to demystify that answer to that inquiry right here, right now. Lamentably, much to my dismay, much to my consternation, much to my chagrin, much to my agony, much to my distress, much to my grief, the dangers appertaining to contracting heart disease are indeed multitudinous, to say the least. They are lethal, to say the least. If you contract heart disease, you're the more prone to succumbing to heart failure, a heart attack, stroke, an aneurysm, peripheral artery disease, as well as sudden cardiac arrest. Furthermore, contracting heart disease will amplify your mortality rate and it will decrease your longevity rate. Additionally, by contracting heart disease, you will have compromised cardiovascular health. In addition, it will undermine your quality of life. You never want your well-being to be undermined. You want your well-being to be optimized. You want your health to be optimized. Take prudent anodyne precautionary measures to optimize your health. It is imperative. It is incumbent. It is pivotal. It is paramount that you do not shirk on optimizing your health. Your health is sacrosanct, indispensable, precious, and invaluable. You do not want plaque to build up in your arteries nor blood vessels. Make salubrious dietary decisions. Do not shirk on doing so. Do not focus on assuaging your taste buds. If it comes at the cost of your sacrosanct, indispensable, precious, and valuable health, you need to do everything in your purview to optimize your health, embrace health optimization measures each and every day. Do not blithely overlook the eminent importance of optimizing your health. You want to ensure that all 78 organs in your vessel are emily nourished and emily hydrated at all times. Do not neglect to do so. If you neglect to do so, lamentably, it will redound to your disadvantage. You never want your cardiovascular health to be undermined. You want to be able to thrive, prosper, and flourish. You want to be able to attain optimal, robust, vigorous health. You want to be able to optimize your well-being. You never want your well-being to be compromised. You do not want your health to erode nor exacerbate. You want your health to be augmented and enhanced and bolstered in every facet. You want to attain optimal spiritual, mental, and physical health. Do not shirk on optimizing your health under any circumstance. When you are all the more prone to contracting a deleterious chronic disease as a result of having heart disease, it will render you all the more susceptible all the more prone, all the more vulnerable to becoming a cadaver, to becoming a decedent. You never want to imperil yourself. Succumbing to heart failure, a heart attack, a stroke, an aneurysm, peripheral artery disease, and sudden cardiac arrest is, un- is an unpleasant, debilitating life-threatening situation that can befall upon you if you have heart disease. These outcomes are not for the faint of heart to brook. And should deter you to
to devour cardiovascular disease inducing foods. You never want to succumb to heart failure, a heart attack, stroke, an aneurysm, peripheral artery disease, nor sudden cardiac arrest. Do not consume anything that can compromise your cardiovascular health. Consume foods that are conducive to optimizing your cardiovascular health. Do not drink anything that can compromise your cardiovascular health. Consume beverages that can optimize your cardiovascular health. The complications of contracting heart disease are life-threatening. They are lethal. They are deleterious. And they are insalubrious. The effects of contracting heart disease are always adverse. Do not victimize yourself. Do not contract heart disease. Do not run yourself prone to contracting heart disease. Take all the measures to optimize your health so that you are all the less apt, all the less poised to contract heart disease. You can preempt contracting heart disease if you embrace health optimization measures and do not do anything that amplifies your risk of contracting heart disease. I hope that you found this video to be enthralling and insightful. Have a blissful day. Goodbye.